Hey everybody, my name is MX7 and welcome back to more God of War Ascension for the PlayStation 3. In the last episode we kept exploring the Temple of Delphi, more specifically the Oracle Chamber. We had to fight against Caster and his twin brother Bolux in another boss fight. And yeah, that boss fight was really amazing. Other than that we also managed to get ourselves the Amulet of Ouroboros, as you can see, which allows us to rebuild structures or destroy them. Right now I'm trying to regenerate this bridge but to be honest I don't want to do that right away because I want to be able to climb there, you see? So we're gonna leave the bridge like this and we're gonna get up there. So yeah, uh, as you can see the effect of the amulet seems to be really great. I can't wait to to see what other puzzles we will have to solve by using these um, this item but yeah so far it seems really good anyway we got some more red orbs now I'm gonna regenerate the bridge once again cause if you guys recalled um, the oracle is somewhere around here I don't know if she survived the drop or not but yeah we're gonna see about that Yep, and there she is. Seems she survived, so I think I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah, here we go. Alethea. The relic you carry has no effect on me. Then I fear you are beyond aid. Do not worry. The situation before me is clear. I am waited for this day. Your thoughts are clouded and your mind conflicted, warrior. I can feel it. You seek the truth? Yes. So be it. But remember, the truth always comes with a price. Is complete. What's done is done. It cannot be undone. No. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the Shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a fury. And he will play his part in time. <laughs> My time grows short. To be free of the madness that infects you, you must defeat those who hold your bond with the God of War. How can I defeat the Furies when all I see is illusion? Across the sea, the Lantern of Delos keeps the eyes of truth. Delos? Find the eyes, and they will show you the path to freedom. Oh man, so Halithia died after all. But yeah, it looks like we'll have to find the Eyes of Truth in Delos. Hmm. Alright, the island of Delos. We'll have to reach the island so we can uh, get ourselves the Eyes of Truth. That's the only way to, uh, to defeat the Furies. But look at this, guys. Horkos seems to be a Fury after all. So why is he helping us? Anyway, did you guys look at... <laughs> yeah, I was able to regenerate a red chest right here. <laughs> yeah, that was really awesome. 
But yeah, I, I, I can't understand. I mean, if Orcos is a fury, wait, how, how can he be a fury? Is he a son of one of the Furies? I don't know. But yeah, that's really strange. If he is one of the Furies, why is he helping us? Well, I guess we'll find more about that throughout the game. But anyway, oh, we got here another white chest, let's see. And we obtained a Phoenix Feather. Okay. So, um, yeah, it seems now we have to get the Eyes of Truth. Delos. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving. Now we reach a new chapter, as you saw. Uh, the passage to Delphi. So, yeah. Come on. Gonna. Come on, Kratos. Whoop! There you go. <laughs> Alright. Alright, nothing here, so I think we'll have to jump down. Yep. Alright. And there are some chests right here. Gonna take some magic. I don't need any health. And nope, there's nothing else around here. So I guess I might upgrade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade some of my powers. Let's see. Alright. Okay. Whoa! We can actually upgrade the amulet of Ouroboros? Increased area effect, decreased cooldown time. Does that mean we can use the amulet during combat? I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna upgrade it right away. So, maybe I'm gonna upgrade the Souls of Hades, alright. There we go. Army of Hades, mm hmm. And let me see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna also upgrade the Ice of Poseidon. Here we go. I could upgrade other skills, but I think that's gonna be it for now. Yeah, so we're gonna give it like that, alright. And let's try out the new uh, attack with that. Whoa! Okay, that's powerful. Let's see the. Alright. So we got a new attack with the um, Iso Poseidon. And. Wait a second. We're back in this place. Do you remember, guys? That's the place where we got ourselves the Ice of Poseidon. And yeah, seems we'll have to fight some more enemies. <laughs> and see, the amulet of Ouroboros can be used in combat. Let's try it out. And I think it slows down enemies. But I can't use it right away once again. Oh, see, there's an icon right there. Underneath the... Um, yeah, right there, a white icon. So that must be the cooldown time. The, um, yeah, I think that's gotta be it. So you can use the Amulet of Ouroboros in combat, but there's a cooldown time. So you can use it once and then you have to wait a bit until you can use it once again. Alright. I think that's gonna be really useful. Slow down enemies in the middle of combat? <laughs> yeah, that's really great. See, that one's right there. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, let's deal with those guys. So we can keep moving. And here we go, grab this one. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I've been using a lot the Ice of Poseidon. Um, maybe I could use other elemental powers, but I, I'm gonna try to upgrade all my skills until the end of the walkthrough. And since you gain more red orbs by freezing enemies by using the Ice of Poseidon, yeah, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using a, a little more, you know. Maybe I'm gonna use other powers uh, during the walkthrough, obviously, but uh, um, since I, I'm, I'm grabbing a lot of red orbs, I'm just gonna stick with the Ice of Poseidon for a little more. But yeah, as you can see guys, we're back here and now that we have the Amulet of Ouroboros, yeah, exactly, that's what I thought. It seems we'll be able to make the water supply 
go back to the cistern. So yeah, there's gonna be water back to the cistern, back to the village of Kira. Yeah, that's really great. See? Right here. Here we go. That's really awesome. So, as I predicted, we're gonna be able to... Yeah, to make the water go back to the village. <laughs> really loving the amulet of Ouroboros so far. Okay, so let's see if there... I don't think there's any chest around here, but yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna keep moving. I think we'll be able to reach the cistern from here. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Oh no. More enemies? Don't tell me. Yeah, I think there's gonna be some more enemies. Yeah, see? <laughs> Alright, we got another siren. Oh, and some other goat enemies. Okay. So... Oh man, I missed that one. Oh, I have to wait till the cooldown is over. Really? Anyway, I, I, I kind of ate, not really ate, but um, the sirens in God of War Ascension seems to be more annoying to the thief than in previous games, cause she has these these electric powers. Yeah, it's really, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I finally grabbed the sword right there. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to make it now. But see, she keeps moving away, then she u she uses these electric powers. It's really... Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> I think I... Oh, come on. Nope, you're not gonna get me like that. There, special... Oh, I missed that? Really? I missed the special discard? Well, I'm gonna swap to the... <laughs> yeah, the fire varies. I think it's it gonna do the trick. Let's see. Use some magic right here. Come on, finally! You're dead now. Alright, come on, kill her. Yes, we did it. Man, she took me a lot of time to defeat. And look at this. Look at all the, the elf she is. Oh man. I messed really bad with that siren right there. Anyway. We're gonna restore this other part of the cistern. Let's see. Come on, come on. Let's get all the water we can to the village of Kira. Yep, here we go. And yeah. So I think now we're gonna reach the cistern. Yeah, that's it. See, the cistern. We reached a new chapter, and actually we already visited this place, if you guys remember. When we, we grabbed ourselves the eyes, of, uh, the eyes of Poseidon, when we got up on those snakes, you know, the metallic snake. But anyway, yeah, more Gorgon eyes. Right. It's really great. Um, God of War games tend to, to make like a little backtrack. Uh, but um, the cool thing about it is when you explore one place once again. Oh man, we're gonna fight some enemies, really? Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, I really like this little aspect of God of War games because uh, sometimes you visit the places during the, the, the your playthrough, but those places seem doesn't uh, don't seem to be really important at a specific moment. But then later on, you get yourself an upgrade or a, a specific power, and then, then the wall area seems to be different now that you can use that power. It's really interesting, I really like that about the series. And yeah, it's it's great that we, we're going back to the village of Kira. Now that we have the amulet of Ouroboros, yeah, it, it sure is gonna be really great to revisit the place. Anyway, I think I'm pretty much done with these guys. Let's see if I can... No! Alright, he's not done yet. Come on. Yeah, I think... Here we go. Right! Okay. Got him. 
I really like the fire of Ares. If the fire of Ares gave me more red orbs, maybe I'd I just stick with it during the world playthrough. To be honest, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna use the Ice of Poseidon to get myself some more red orbs and use the fire of Ares to get the rage meter. Um, to get the rage meter filled uh, as soon as possible, because yeah, the the fire of Ares seems to fill the the rage meter a lot faster than other powers. At least I think so. But anyway, so yeah, we're back in the cistern. There's another decayed chest right here, and I think yeah. See, you can rebuild chests and. To be honest, I guess there is a trophy related to getting, um, I don't know how, how many red chests, but I know there are some red chests that are decayed like this one, and you can use the amulet of Ouroboros, and if you manage to restore all of them, you get yourself uh, a trophy. If I recall, there was another one, yeah, there is, okay, there, so we got ourselves free of these chests in this episode hmm all right but anyway guys yeah and there's this painting right here I don't know what this is maybe this gotta be some Easter egg or something maybe I'll try to figure down out later if I have a chance but anyway yeah now that we reach the sister I I guess this is actually a good spot to end this video so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did don't forget to like it, you can always add it to your favorites, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, you know the usual stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be it, thank you all so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time.